hey guys what's up if you're new welcome if you're not new welcome back my name is indigo and today i'm going to address my fear of being seen um because it's honestly been like weighing on me for a hot minute and i have got to break out of this um Yeah, I've got to break out of this, like, if I really want to, like, get to the next, my next phase of life. Um, So, yeah, I have been afraid of being seen for, like, a hot minute. And it's not, it's not in any way crazy. Like, I don't mind getting on camera and, like, portraying a character. I don't mind, you know, people looking at me in the store because I definitely get stares when I go in the store. Um... I don't really care about stuff like that. Where my issue more so begins to come into play is in opening up to people and being vulnerable. Um, And I guess in a way, sharing myself with the world is kind of an issue too. And I know that sounds crazy because I make YouTube videos and I like, I'm on here You know, and I'm, like, sometimes in the comment section, not a whole lot, but sometimes I'm in the comment section, so I'm interacting with people in that way. Um, But more so that I just get on here and I, like, talk about some of my opinions or whatever or what I'm going through. But that's so easy. Um, And I know that sounds really crazy, but that to me is, like, this is easy. Um, and I think in a way it's because I have come on to this platform and I'm actually rather detached like this whole interact these interactions from me have come from a place where I'm not really it's like I'm doing it but I'm doing it just because or I I wouldn't say just because but that like I'm not really sharing as much of me as I should or could. Like, I'm just very much, you know what? You know what it is? <laughs> when I come on these YouTube videos, I very much step into my representative. And so it's like what I would do when I had a job and when I would go to work, you know, how I was able to come and show up in those scenarios and situations. Like, I'm coming. And I am, you know, I'm here, I'm with you, we're talking, I'm engaging, I'm selling these customers, whatever, but I'm really not in it. I'm really not here. And it's like, it's a little bit different because with you guys, I am here and these are things that I um, am feeling or, or whatnot, but... There's a part of me that I hold back. And I know exactly why that is um, and where it stems from. Hopefully you guys can like understand me. I'm a little nasally right now, um, getting over a ridiculous weather change, but um, yeah. I know why it is though. Um, and mine is very much like in it's, hermit mode but in the extreme like in a in a very very much extreme case so i come from a place that is very prim and proper and where i like where i grew up it was very prim it was very proper and it's almost as if you have to present yourself in a particular way like you can pretty much put everybody that I went to high school church etc etc with in like three different categories and almost everybody the ones who didn't fit in any of these categories you don't see me being one of those people like I didn't fit into any of these categories and so that is 
that has been like a big part of it. You know, I, when I first started going to like, when I switched, I switched schools quite a bit. Um, but when I got to like my last set of schools where I, my parents finally just got, got us all settled in, it was, we were put into this environment where we are surrounded by people. Like I'm around people that look like me, you know, on the outside and they carry themselves, um, or I shouldn't say carry themselves, but you know, we had similar upbringings. Our parents had similar styles of, of raising us or whatever. But when you actually, when it came down to like me trying to connect or connecting with these children, it was like, I am hitting a brick wall every time. Like I'm not understood. And I haven't even done anything crazy yet. You know what I'm saying? I haven't even broke out into random dancing or, um, you know, me screaming just because I can. Like I haven't done anything wild yet. I wasn't like the hits weren't hitting, you know? And so I've always been the black sheep. I, I And I'm like looking at my life now, even now within my family, like I'm the black sheep. I'm the child who has done everything the wrong way. It's the right way. You know, I am very, I have accepted the path that I have chosen in life but I'm afraid of actually putting I'm afraid of letting those close to me into see what what it is that I'm doing you know um it's like it's almost like there is a lack of, bro, I know you are not tearing up right now. Hold up. <laughs> Whoa, chill out, okay? But it stems from a lack of acceptance. It comes from a lack of acceptance because I'm so different and I always have been. And I realize that I'm always going to be different. But I haven't accepted that this is me. I'm different. And the, my perspective is different. The way that I express myself is different. And everybody loves to say, yeah, I'm different until they meet somebody that's actually different. I'm actually different. Like when I tell y'all, I don't, I have yet to actually connect with really anybody on any deep and meaningful way. Like even my best friend, like I really love her. I do, but there are parts of myself that I hold back because I just don't feel like she would understand or accept me in it in my entirety like the only person that and at this point in my life there's only one person that I can say that I really don't bring my representative into the relationship with and that's my mom and it has not always been like that you know it has not always been like that it was very much one of those situations where I um it's very much one of those situations where we just had to work on it like it has come out of a lot of trauma because we faced a lot of trauma together. Um, but it took work for me to just not, you know, edit or filter or hide any parts of myself. But I show up as my representative in all my other relationships. And, um,. It's honestly so hard to do that. It's so draining. But to me, the 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 thought of not being accepted is even harder because I know it sucks. I hate being on the outside looking in. I hate 
not really being heard. I hate not being seen and valued. And um, I know for me personally, that was like, that's been a really sore spot with me because it seems like I'm really crying right now. <laughs> but um, it seems like the people who I feel like are supposed to love me and accept me the most just haven't, you know? Um, not so much my mom. But my siblings, definitely. Um, I get picked on a lot for being different. And it's crazy. I'm the oldest, and they're picking on me. as like, And most of them are, like, way younger than me. But um, they make me feel bad all the time for, like, just being different. I don't... I try not to hold it in against them because that's just their nature. It's, like, how they grew up. But it does, like, hurt my feelings a lot. Like, the things that they say. And, um... Even with my dad, um, my biological father, I feel like out of this out of this entire world, there's supposed to be two people who love and accept me for me merely just being myself, and that's my mom and my dad. I get it from my mom. I get it from my mom, but when it comes to my dad, it's just not there. You know, I, I often feel like I can never do anything right for this man. And um, that's really hard because I, I feel like I love him so much, you know. And even though, like, in our relationship, like, Honestly, and if I can, if I'm being like completely honest, as much as like the kids picking on me growing up hurt my feelings, I never, I like, yeah, as much as the kids picking on me when I was growing up hurt my feelings as badly as uh, I wanted them to be accepting of me, I really didn't edit myself or just like bring my representative to the party until my dad came back into my life. Like, I can, that is when this fear really just took over. I I don't know, he came in um on the he came in on this white horse like he was coming back and he was going to be just like super loving and supportive and all of this stuff and that ended up not really being the case, you know. He slowly but surely I don't even say slowly but the longer and the more time that I spent with him me and my brother it was like that mask that he put up just fell and in came just a barrage of all of these criticisms about who I am and how I think what I want to do and I just I have been feeling so bad for so long about me literally just being myself. Um, I've lived here for so long. Like, I don't even, I feel like I don't even really know myself anymore. Um, which really sucks because I know that I'm like, I know I'm a really good person deep down and it's like I can feel who I was and who I won't even say who I was I, but I can feel who I am at my core but it's like how do I how do I get back how do I access her how do I get in touch with her I don't know It can be really difficult. <laughs> and I've been trying to like break myself out of this. Like I really am. And I'm not coming on here. I'm not like in search of like sympathy. I'm not in search of like compliments. I'm not, that's not what this video about is. I'm just 
I don't know. I was really... I really just want to be free. Like, and when I think about... And when I look back at, like, every video that I've made up until this point, I feel like I've been dancing around this issue. And for me, this is, like, the crux of it is that I have literally been living my life through my representative for God even knows how long. And nobody should have to live like that. Nobody should have to edit who they are in order to be accepted. You know, those people who I see who are out here and they're able to just be themselves completely like, yo, that is so amazing to see. I love that for them. Um, and I want that for myself. So <clears throat> I guess I say all of that to say that. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how this is going to look. But I am making a commitment to myself. And I'm making a commitment to you, whoever might be watching this, to break out. Or I don't want to say break out, but just to drop my representative and step fully into the entirety of myself I have no idea what that's going to look like I have no idea what the outcome of all this is going to be quite frankly I'm terrified but I'm going to do it anyway somebody that says I've always been told do it scared and so you're not afraid to do it anymore I was afraid to press my bleh. I was afraid to post my first YouTube video and every single time that I posted it, I've gotten a little bit more comfortable and a little bit more confident in myself and a little bit more like, oh, it's nothing to just get on here and record a video. So I am going to do it scared with coming back on the social media and everything. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I I'm committing to making one to two videos per week for my YouTube channel. I'm kidding me, committing myself to post daily on my TikTok until I get comfortable just being myself completely, doing whatever it is. And when I say whatever, I do mean whatever, guys. Like if I'm coming on and putting on makeup or cooking or cutting my toenails, whatever, I am committing myself to do at that at least once a day until I am comfortable just living in totality, in the totality of myself. And I'm committing to just, uh, most, most importantly, I'm just committing to being me. I'm, if there are people who don't like me after this because of something that I say or do, if there are people who are in my life and you don't want to be my friend anymore, you don't want to be associated with me because of like how I might carry myself or or how I should say how I'm going to carry myself or for what I have to say, my opinions, my beliefs, my ideas. Oh, well. <laughs> At this point, oh, well. I shouldn't have to live like this like I've been so miserable for so long and I just realized that this is the crux of the issue is trying to appeal to everybody and what I'm like literally in me trying to appeal to everybody I appeal to no one so yeah we're not doing that anymore um I'm not doing that anymore <clears throat> I'm literally just gonna be myself wholeheartedly and if that jives with you um cool i'm great for it i'm glad for it i hope you'll be around for this ride it's gonna be a journey for me just being vulnerable and being open 
but it will be worse for me if I don't. So thank you all for checking me out today. Um, hate that I got a little teary there, but you know, it is what it is. And um, yeah, if you like this video, um, don't be afraid to give me a thumbs up. It helps me a whole lot out on this big old world of YouTube. Um, if you want to see more from me, hit the subscribe button. Like I just said, we're going to be here one or two times a week, every week until the Most High tells me to do something else. Um, I have a business I started. I'm going to be promoting that very soon. I just actually started my Instagram for it. And hopefully by the time this video goes up, my first post will be up. But um, check me out on there. I am looking forward to sharing my process with the world at large. If you want to follow me on my social media, TikTok, Instagram, whatever, I'll have those linked down below so you guys can follow along with my journey too. And um, yeah, I didn't mean this video to be a downer. I, feel, I realize it might come off that way, but I'm just going to be doing something different. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day or night whenever you choose to watch this and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.